Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and this is yet another video review. Today I will be looking at overclocking an AMD Athlon XP CPU. Let's go over a few things that are required in overclocking the Athlon XP CPU. Of course you would need the Athlon XP CPU. In my case I'm using the 1900 Plus and a kit and I'm using the high-speed PC kit this is the AMD XP unlocking kit it comes with the manual itself also it comes with a cleaning solution as well as a gap filler conductive grease a little pin to spread the conductive grease throughout the L1 bridge a magnifying glass as well as tape before I actually go ahead and do this unlocking, I'll just go quickly through the steps. Basically, all you would need to do is dip the pin in the gap filler and paint the entire L1 area filling in the valley. Then clean the gap filler from the L1 area, leaving the valleys filled in. Finally, dip the pin in the conductive grease and carefully dab a line from one dot to the other over the filled in valley. One thing very important to remember is you do this for each of the five bridges and also don't let the conductive grease touch the conductive grease on the bridge next to it. Let me now start this procedure and I will go through it step by step. And this is the AMD Athlon XP CPU. At the very top left corner, right here, is the L1 bridge. This is the bridge which you will need to unlock. Though there is a bridge just below that, the L3 bridge, and that is the bridge which you cover up with the scotch tape, just to be sure that you will not be getting any conductive grease uh, over and crossing the L3 bridge. So let's go ahead now and carefully apply the tape here. So now that the L3 bridge is covered up with the tape, you can go ahead and apply the gap filler to the L1 bridge. So just dip the pin and you can spread this very liberally. Now just go ahead and remove the gap filler with your finger. And you can see once that's done, it will fill the gaps in the L1 bridge. The next step, of course, is to apply the conductive grease across the five bridges. And when doing this, you want to have a tiny, and I mean a tiny amount, of this conductive grease on the tip of your pin. Otherwise, you'll end up crossing the bridges, and that is something you do not want to do. So let me go ahead now and actually cross all five of these bridges. And once the procedure has been completed, you can see here that the L1 bridge, using the conductive grease, is across all five bridges. Once this procedure is finished, you would, of course, have to remove the tape. Then just install your CPU into your motherboard and then adjust the multiplier on this CPU. I will show you now in the BIOS of how to change the multiplier on your CPU. In most new motherboards these days, the motherboards come equipped with the ability to change the front side bus and the multiplier settings inside the BIOS. If you have an older motherboard, you will probably have to refer to your manual and change those settings manually by jumper settings on your particular motherboard. Right here it's very simple for me to do. You might want to also increase the voltage on your CPU before starting this procedure. Then change the multiplier to now whatever you wish to change it to. 
I'll just change it to 10 and then proceed to go down to the front side bus setting and I'll change it to 160. In my case, 10 times 160 would equal 1.6 gigahertz, not giving me really any overclock on this particular CPU except for the memory. The memory results, of course, would be much greater than it was at default, which was 133. You could also change the multiplier to 10 and a half, 11, and so on, and then overclock the CPU speed. This product is an essential if you are an overclocker and you want to get more performance out of your CPU. This product is affordable, it's very easy to use, and it works very well. As long as you have a lot of patience and some time to do this, it will work out great and you will be able to adjust the multipliers on your Athlon XP CPU. Overall, this product is a fantastic product. I give it a 10 out of 10. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, check out my website at www.3dgameman.com, and while you're there, check out the forums. Until the next time, take care.